the Acer, spin alone, the new power supply, the pen, pointing device, and the literature that comes with it. Okay, so the first thing here, let's open it up. Take the protective piece out. We have the same kind of idea as last time we get the two hinges. Those are pretty solid. This one has rubber all the way around it, which is nice. Uh, not so much there, but it does have it down here. Actually, that's still plastic. That's not plastic instead of metal. Okay, so you got a camera there, and a camera there. So it's working on the same principle as the previous ASUS that we looked at. So, power button, power light. Power connector is now the USB-C. That's a major upgrade from last time when it was that little tiny connector. So, yeah. Okay, a USB 3, SD card, headphone, speaker output, speaker there. Not a speaker there. Okay, nothing on really on the back or in the front to show. On the other side, we've got volume up down, another USB 3, another USB C, and the Kensington lock. So, on the bottom. Now, let's see if I show you this right here. This and here. Those are for water to drain out of the unit if you spill it on the keyboard. So you're supposed to be able to take this thing and pour water onto it while it's running. I don't know. So, pen. Huh. Let's go. So, connect to my Wi Fi here. Okay. And just like on the rest of them. Sorry about that. Just got on the rest of them. Same idea. So, you're going to check. I'm going to uncheck that. And next, or accept rather. And it will do update. There we go. So it gives you an idea of what you're going to see when you update. Okay, a couple things to note right off hand. There's no place to put this thing that I've seen yet. So, you know, the pen. Which is cute and it works, but... So while this is going real quick, this is the setup guide. Gives you an idea kind of what to expect. Couple things you can do, a couple things you need to do, and a few fun little things such as listening to music. There's nothing on our Google Maps, social videos, and this, your, your other things you can do with it. Yeah. So that's the setup guide. There's a lawyer form <laughs> uh, for FCC information for here in the United States. There's product registration information. And there's some international, looks like, uh, warranty registration stuff, so warranty information. So, yeah. I continue to look, but there's no place to put this pen. I'm thinking this is going to be lost fast. <laughs> okay, it'll run its update process again. Just let these run when you first get a Chromebook. They are kind of critical. Okay. So then you have to sign in by putting your email in. So, howdy. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Click once. There we go. That's on. Yay. You have it.
Okay, so I'll close this for a little bit. So I'll see if there's any updates to do, because it will usually start showing up here if there are updates. Already downloaded that and everything. Isn't that nice? And let's get pen settings. That's kind of neat. The battery's starting to charge up pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our tests. <laughs> Can't see me there in the reflection. Sorry. I do have to be here to work this thing though. So. One, reload it. Okay, and just to prove a point, this is a regular pen. Does not work. You do have to have that kind of pen. Or one of these pens with the little soft point thing. Because it will still work. Theoretically. <laughs> there it goes. So now we hit that once. There we go. Okay. Now, this works. This does work better. So the three of those together give you that as an average. Okay, so that's not too bad. Camera there, camera there. So we should be able to go to the camera. All right, and you see me. So that's this camera. That's not too bad. So let's change cameras. Okay. There's that camera looking at the ceiling. You can see my nice joyous ceiling there. So, hi. And that's this camera here. Okay. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Not that pretty to look at though, is it? So let's go back. So there's the camera. There's the camera shooting the camera. Let me go in here and we'll just, let's do something like that. Here. Just. <laughs> so we can mess with Google for a little bit here. We'll just take out the G. <laughs> and that's kind of cute, I guess. I don't know. It only works inside of Chrome. It won't work on the desktop. But. Yeah, so the paint thing works. Let's try the eraser. No, oh, it just writes the same way. Which is that. So if we go in here, we go... That's the laser pointer feature. That's kind of cute. So, create now, we can capture screen, magnifying glass. <laughs> so the pen gives you a few options, it's kind of fun, I will have to admit. So, yeah. I still think you should have a place to put it. Okay, so really quickly here, we'll look at, uh, we'll look at one of my videos, and we'll run the, uh, the volume test real quick here. So.
Okay, so that's decent. It's not as loud as the Dell that we tested before or the, the Asus that I've tested before, but it's not bad. It is clear. That's the nice part, but that is full volume for right there. So if we back that up a little bit, let's see if we can find another one. Maybe. Get to something else. That's a full blast. Okay, so run real quick then. We'll just do the little cube thing here. So. That does get kind of loud. In a classroom, I'd say that's probably decent. This would probably not be loud enough to use to, to play something for the entire class. But it is actually rather clear. Anyway, so what do I think of this? The construction is pretty decent. It's a little different, of course, than the uh, than the other Acer that we had to test with. Uh, I like the drain hole thing. It's nice for water. Uh, I like the fact it's got some rubber around the edges, so it's a little bit more durable. I like the addition of USB-C on both sides, and the charging light, and the power button on the same side. Uh, and it's also telling me it's in standby because it's closed, obviously. Um, the nice supports there. I kind of wish they ran those across the entire bottom so it was easier to grip. It's a little slick but not bad. The screen's nice and bright. The thickness is about the same as the rest of it. It may actually be just a touch thicker but I think that's because of the drain thing that's in this. Um, it's responsive very responsive. That's nice. The octane speed is pretty decent. Um, and the keyboard has a pretty decent feel to it. And the touch screen is actually very responsive. So, like you would expect. So, get to that. Okay, so in kind of final conclusion here, uh, I'll go over what I like and what I don't like about the thing. I actually really like the whole unit uh, as a whole. I think it is a, a really decent machine. Um, it, these are some pictures that are, you're seeing right now are of our disassembly, so we could look inside it. Uh, its layout is, is similar to the other one. Uh, it's a little cleaner. It's got a little bit better ability to deal with water flow, thus the water holes in the bottom. But it looks like the company that I work for, which is a school, is going to go ahead and purchase these for our, our grade schools to use. So actually, we're pretty happy with them. I think that's actually been our final decision. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, do me a favor, give me a, a thumbs up on this one. And uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit subscribe. That does make a huge difference these days.